All right, so I have good news and I have bad news. The good news, I figured out why I've been coughing for the past two weeks. Um, the bad news, the half the country's on fire, or at least covered in smoke, which is not fun. See, uh, there there are a lot of fires currently breaking out in Canada, and I'm about to cough, so we're gonna cut them. Anyways, um, yeah, there's fires breaking out all over Canada, and it's causing the smoke to essentially engulf half of the country, which is not fun. See, uh, currently in Quebec, there is 150 wildfires, which af apparently, out of those 150, 110 of them are out of control. And that's just in one province. In Alberta, there's 64. Sa Saskatchewan? Canadians, can you say I said that correctly, please? Uh, there's 25, and then other territories, there's just a few, like around like 80 others, which is just absolutely insane. Usually you'd hear about like one giant fire. Why is there near 300 of them all going on in the same country? This is bad. <laughs> and the smoke is, like, currently moving into our area. In fact, as I, I'll show you later in the video, the air quality is so bad where we currently are that if you go outside, the weather is yellow. It isn't, like, like slightly, like, like hued yellow. I go outside, it looks like I walked out into Mexico in Breaking Bad. Like, the... I'm looking at- I'm pointing at my window like you guys can see my window or something. Anyway, I'll, I'll show you more. Let's get into this actual footage. Alright, I'm sitting up for my little setup over there because I want to show you guys how yellow it is. Walking up to the door, you can see I already get a yellow hue on my face, which is absolutely insane. But, uh, take it outside. It's just- you can barely tell, actually, with the camera. You can kind of tell. Does it feel, like, yellowish to you guys? I'm not even in the worst of it, but it's, it's like- there, it is smoky. There is smoke. Can you tell? Like, look at the smokiness right there. That's genuinely insane. It's just so incredibly, crazily bad. I'm back. Okay, well, you'd think that, that my area has it bad, but in New York, it's even worse. And it, it, if not, like, way, way worse. There was a, a New York Yankees game that happened a few days ago, and I'll, I'll play footage over me talking here. It, it, the place looks like sort of smoky, but apparently everything smelled like a campfire, which, I mean, that's kind of a vibe. I kind of like the smell of campfires, but not when it's, you know, the entire time and engulfing an entire stadium and you cannot escape it. <laughs> Probably sucks a little bit. But, um, yeah, New York is what I think is facing the worst of it right now because they are kind of the most northern you can get, aside from some other unnamed states that we won't talk about because they're irrelevant to the story, okay? But yeah, apparently around 80 million Americans are being uh, hit with this smoke right now. So if you're watching this video, there's like a 1 in 4 chance you're currently also dealing with a gigantic smoke cloud over your house. Which is terrifying, you know? That's that's huge. That's extremely large scale, and it's like like murdering the dinosaurs. You get a, like a meteorite and the cloud covers the earth. We already got like a third of America covered up. Th this is scary. Yeah, New York is completely blotted out. I actually want to show you some images of like how bad New York is looking. Let me just, let me just put these up real quick. Like here we have like the most low render distance in Minecraft type B view you can get of New York, which is really scary because look how huge it is. The place is orange. It's turned or Look, look at this. That looks like the photo was burnt on the tips, but no, that's just smoke from Canada. Another reason we can blame Canada for giving us terrible things. <laughs> um, yeah, apparently though, being in New York for a 24 hour period, some experts say, um, is the equivalent of smoking six cigarettes, which, you know, I don't think that's good for your lungs. I highly recommend though, it, like I know masks are terrible for a lot of people and they don't like them, but if you want to not smoke six cigarettes in the span of 24 hours, I'd recommend maybe throwing a mask on if you're going to go on a quick run to Walmart and get yourself some apples. Because that's, you know, I it's, it's just not good out right now. It's just not healthy. And this isn't like some, like, government cover-up. Like, look at DC. Even DC's being hit by this. Look, look at this. This is insane. These poor dude. Look, you, there's the picture from earlier. <laughs> I actually found a cool chart um, online that in uh, for the ABC News app, and it shows the country and like uh, like a chart of how unhealthy the air is. So like we have like sort of unhealthy air and moderately unhealthy air in like the Central America area, and for some reason we got some 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 unhealthy for sensitive groups right over here. It must be like a factory or something. But um, move over here. Of course, Ohio is terrible. Move over here. And you can see in Ottawa and in Canada, it is hazardous air. Like, not just unhealthy, 
hazardous. You are going to be very sick. And that goes into New York. And it's moving my way. I'm a Marylander, by the way, for those of you unaware. So my tiny little state's kind of hard to miss. But it's coming. And, and like, my area is currently in the unhealthy. I, myself, I suffer from asthma. I've had asthma my whole life. It, it made sports hard. But eventually I did a bunch of sports and, like, it just stopped affecting me. Which, kind of pog. Very nice. We love that. But this... The world's on fire, and it's not just unhealthy for sensitive groups. My state is marked as unhealthy, period. In fact, actually, if you look kind of in the lower area, we have very unhealthy in Delaware and in, like, the, like, west, the, I guess, southwestern America, or Maryland, America. Yeah, I am all of America. Now, a positive thing is the rain, because there's going to be rain coming Friday for a few states on the eastern coast, um, is hopefully going to wash out a, few, a bit of the smoke. The only issue is the fires are still out of control, so the smoke is going to keep coming. So, you know, it's not like the smoke's going to go away permanently. It's just going to be, I guess, suppressed for a little while, and then it's going to keep coming. And I can feel it. My throat hurts. Like, I was coughing a few days ago due to allergies. I, I The joke in the beginning of the video is kind of ironic that fires haven't been burning for weeks, but... Now, that allergy cough has gone away, and it just kind of hurts to breathe sometimes, and that's not good. That's really scary. I'm probably going to throw a mask on uh, if I ever want to go outside and do things, because I just want to stay safe. In fact, I'm seeing some articles talk about how the national zoos in D.C. are closely monitoring the animals, because, yeah, I, don't let your dog out. I guess let him pee in your, your rug or something. No, you can let your dog out. It's fine. But, um, yeah, just people are closing outdoor activities for schools. It's it's scary. This is scary, you know? Because this isn't just something you can escape by, like, hiding in your house. This is smoke. It's, it, what was it? I saw a news article talk about the smoke Um, is, uh, there's a particle called PM2.5, which is, like, a really, really small particle that can get past your airways. And it has increased a lot. Apparently, it's increased around 27-fold in the last decade, which irrelevant thanks news article for telling us about how bad the world is right now but um that is currently the particle that is kind of the scary thing that's going to be hurting you because you know the world's on fire <laughs> now i actually found this video of a uh, a lake in new york called lake kuka or whatever and it is so incredibly yellow and it genuinely looks like mexico in breaking bad i know i made that joke earlier in the video but I, it it's unfathomable how yellow things are look at this like, look at that. That is unreal. I, I almost want to, like, check it out, but that- Like, how is that man conscious on that boat? That is more smoke than air. <laughs> so I did a little digging into the unhealthy nature of this smoke, and it's actually genuinely kind of scary. Um, so the PM 2.5 stuff is called PM 2.5 because it's only 2.5 microns in diameter, which to put that in perspective, a grain of sand on the beach is 90 microns in diameter. So essentially what happens is these little particles will get into your lungs. And since they're so tiny, they go so deep into your lungs that they can enter your bloodstream, which can cause chest pain, you know, heart attacks, I think is they might've said in there. And of course, bad asthma attacks and stuff like that. So this is genuinely like something to look out for. I know a mask isn't going to stop something that's only 2.5 microns thick, but it is going to stop it being as common as get to get into your lungs. You might have stopped more of them and not as much. So I highly recommend staying safe because this is scary. This is like genuinely dangerous for you. So um, yeah, I just want to talk about it because this was genuinely an interesting topic and it is affecting, you know, a third of the country right now. So I hope this helps. Um, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video I make, which will be probably tomorrow or Friday. So uh, have a good night, have a good day, and uh, as always, adios, arrivederci, goodbye, and uh, breathe easy, I guess. <laughs>